Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this video you are going to learn about list and write operations of FTP connector in Mule 4 Anypoint Studio 7. Let's jump into the application development. Open Anypoint Studio, click on File New Mule Project and give a project name for your many to many file transfers application. Click on Finish. Now drag and drop HTTP listener connector to get the requests for your service. Click on new connector configurations and give the host and port numbers. Click on test connection. If the port is not in use then you will get the test connection successful message. Click on OK. Given URL path for your files transfer service. In the HTTP listener itself you can configure the response message and responses. Write an appropriate success response message. By default Mule 4 won't have the FTP module. Go to Palette and click on Add Module now select the FTP and click on Finish. Earlier Mule versions have separate connectors for FTP and SFTP operations. But in the new Mule 4 version a single FTP connector have capable to connect with SFTP server also. To connect with SFTP we can choose the server in the connection in extension configuration and the FTP connector module has different connectors based on the operation like copy, create directory, delete, list, move, read, rename and write. Now drag and drop the FTP read operation into canvas and add a new connection properties and give the working directory, host, username and password, click on test connection. If the given credentials are correct and server is up then you will get test connection as successful. Now give the directory path to pull the files, then drag and drop for each into canvas which sends the files iteratively. Now drag and drop the longer to print the payload in the console. Now drag and drop the FTP write operation into canvas and add a new connection properties and give the working directory, host, username and password, click on test connection. If the given credentials are correct and server is up then you will get test connection as successful. Now give the output path expression as hash, attributes.name, in path which fetches the file name from the list FTP. Now save your project and right click on the canvas and run the Mule project. By default Mule will download required artifacts from Maven repository, once your project won't have any errors it shows a success message as deployed. Now open the postman and enter the service URL and click on send. Congratulations your files is transferred successfully from list input location to output location. You can see the success message. You can see the transferred files in output location. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at meal4beta at eiesb.com.